for viewers across Africa and the rest of the world. This is NC Continental Prime. I am Benga Aboroa. We begin in South Africa where the premier of Hauteng, Panyaza Lesufi, has delivered the much-anticipated State of the Provinces address in Johannesburg. In his address, the premier says the, the government will be increasing the budget of fighting crime from 750 million rand to multi-billion in the next three years. On the ongoing electricity crisis in the country, a sum of 1.2 billion rand will be released towards resolving the energy crisis in Hauteng for the construction of an 800 megawatt solar farm in Merafong. Meanwhile, Action SA says the Premier needs to be taken into task for his promises. So the issue of fighting crime should be our apex priority. We should unleash all our resources at our disposal to tackle crime. To this end, we are proud as this administration that we are increasing the budget of fighting crime in our province from 750 million to multi-billion rents in the next three years. Starting from the 1st of April, we will start to connect our suburbs, townships, business districts, schools, and other public places with high-tech face and car recognition CCTVs. We will arm our citizens with e-panic buttons that will be leaked to our law enforcement agencies. These e-panic e buttons will also be linked to our CCTVs and our new state of art in the term of... Now we have joined us live from South Africa, Bongani Beloy, the chairperson of Action Essay in Hauteng, joins us to unpack uh, this latest development. Uh, good evening, Bongani. <clears throat> good evening, and thank you for having me on the show. Happy to have you. Now, uh, Bongani, what do you make of the Premier's State of the Provinces address? Did it meet up to your expectations? Look, um, we welcome the Premier's inaugural State of the Province address, and we are cautiously optimistic, as Action SA, purely because, uh, I mean, the ANC is well known for its inability to, to uh, implement its own plans. However, we do feel that uh, a number of the proposals that the Premier has put on the table meet our, 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 our approval because we have been mobilizing and trying to persuade him to consider strongly on how to respond on crime, on issues of load shedding linked to ESCOM, on issues of investment into townships and the economy, most importantly. And these are some of the things that came strongly in his State of the Province address. Now, Bangani, it's not the first time that the government has made beautiful speeches, but full shots when it comes to implementation. As the opposition, how are you going to ensure that the Premier lives up to his promises and keeps them? Look, we're going to hold the Premier to account to ensure that he deliver, him and his government deliver on what he's, uh, he's said to do. Uh, the financial year starting in the 1st of, of March is where we're going to ensure that we increase our oversight capacity and capabilities and also engage directly with community to try and ascertain and monitor if there is real and tangible progress on the ground. Because this government of the ANC has, is notorious for failing to implement. Instead, as opposed to implementing, they really, uh, I mean, pillage the fiscus of the of the of the of the province and do on the various things that should not be happening. Now let's talk about the big elephant in the room, electricity. At the president's uh, state of the nation address, he made the fourth uh, the the, the uh, crux of his speech and also uh, the premier's uh, speech. So uh, talking about electricity crisis and crime rate in Hauteng, the premier promised he will increase the budget to up to 750 million rand. How viable is this? And is that what the community needs, especially in dealing with crime? Look, I think it's important that the increase in the budget related to crime, because he has to ensure that there's an increase in number of boots on the ground. Um, and the second, he engaging with technologies, and thirdly, ensuring that they collaborate with multiple stakeholders uh, in the community who are part of the safety cluster. I think uh, the issue of the electricity and the challenges we face around there, you could have done a bit more, but it's important at least that they're moving towards the right direction of establishing a power mix 
and having power generated from different sources and not just reliant on our coal, but coal generated power is still, uh, the, I think, the the, 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 the the biggest component or contributor onto our grid. So we really need to find a way in maximizing that, but equally investing in infrastructure and protecting such infrastructure to ensure you extract efficiencies that save power as opposed to losing power when you distribute and when it's going through transmission. Thank you very much, uh, Bangani Beloy, chairman of SA Action. Uh, Action SA, I beg your pardon, in Hauteng for joining us on NC Continental Prime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.